Uh, thank you very much, uh, Presiding Officer. And let me perhaps start by delineating some of the areas uh, of agreement, because there were a substantial number. Uh, firstly, I think there was a broad agreement that we can do better, a uh, broad agreement that we must do better. Uh, we can and should export more. Uh, we need a structure that provides support for business, and that uh, is probably segmented into supporting large growing companies, mid-range growing companies, and of course, uh, small startups. And of course, we also need a banking system that provides transaction services for business and private individuals, provides access to small borrowing to keep the economy going, and fundamentally uh, has a local uh, presence. So I think the fundamentals of the debate, and a very useful debate brought forward by the Liberals, uh, at least bringing forward a proposal which is open to uh, analysis, open to discussion, uh, perhaps in stark contrast to the blank sheet of paper approach to policy formulation uh, that there is uh, on my left. Uh, Jeremy Purvis quite correctly said that Scotland is a tiny economy in a fast-growing world. Uh, I don't think uh, that is beyond a fact. It simply is true. But, of course, it does highlight one important thing, that there is a different approach taken in tiny economies, small economies, from that which has to be taken in large economies. Small economies can be fleet of foot. Small economies uh, can respond more rapidly uh, to changes in the opportunities uh, that there are. Uh, Jeremy suggested that we should see exports rise by 50% over the next parliament and 100% over the next 10 years. And I think uh, we would certainly all wish to see uh, these two parameters moving ahead uh, over the period of time. You mentioned China and India. Now, these are actually likely for us uh, to be partners rather than competitors. And I think that's an important point that a small country does not operate in isolation from the broader economy of the world or from the major and growing players uh, in the world. And that's why it's so important, uh, as the government has done, to have spent time in China, spent time in India, with Scottish companies who are successfully exploiting the opportunities that we have there. I will indeed. I wonder if the Minister would help us by defining the extent to which, in his view, the Scottish economy is distinct from the UK economy, particularly in the light of the Irish experience. Well, the Scottish economy uh, clearly is different in a number uh, of respects. Um, we, and it's different from the Welsh economy as well. The Welsh economy is a much more uh, substantial proportion of its economy involved in manufacturing than is the case in the Scottish economy. The Scottish economy has particular strengths uh, in intellectual endeavours, in training and in education, uh, which see, of course, many of our universities setting up uh, uh, outposts in other parts of the world. We don't have to be there to be there delivering. And I think there are differences. And of course, that is precisely why we need a different approach. And with a wider range of powers, we could do even more uh, than, we, than we can do. Now, let's uh, look uh, uh, fundamentally at the proposals uh, that the Liberals uh, have put in front of us. Uh, some people have read them, and some people have relied on the uh, gossip uh, from others uh, rather than uh, reading them. I think if we all took a, a couple of pages each, we'd be able to read the 47 pages uh, uh, quite quickly. But I think in certain respects, uh, there is muddle uh, at the present iteration uh, of the proposals that have been brought forward uh, by Mr. Uh, Purvis. But he has brought forward things that pose uh, the right questions. Uh, he's talked about uh, the difficulties in securing finance. Well, that's certainly fundamentally uh, correct and sought to uh, identify that a network of 13 uh, regional banks uh, would be the answer to this. But single body for equity finance, a single promotional uh, marketing and inward uh, body. Now, as politicians, we love to tinker with these things. We love to bring forward legislation. It's fun. It gives a sense of achievement. It doesn't necessarily influence the outside world in a single uh, way whatsoever, but it does keep us employed. Um, and, of course, he made the very important point that all of this would be self-financing but underwritten by government. Now, that's fair enough as far as it goes, but, of course, that means it doesn't get it off the government's uh, balance sheet. 
It remains a liability uh, for government and it essentially creates, if not properly managed, and there's opportunity to develop this further, uh, which I invite Mr. Purvis, not necessarily today, but in the future, to consider further, um, e e enabling private companies to play fast and loose with public money. There is that genuine difficulty that, that we uh, do need to consider. Yes, briefly. Yeah, I'm very grateful. I would just uh, caution the Minister, because the model that I'm using uh, is in, by and large in operation in the South of Scotland Loans Fund, which has been in operation for a number of years and which has been financing, self-financing for a number of years, which yes, I think the government supports um, entirely. I, I hope the Chamber will not think uh, that I shot the proposal out of the water absolutely. That was not my intention. Uh, let me make the, the, the broad general point that minority governments and all governments, uh, all parties in this uh, place are minorities, uh, must lay out their fundamental goals but should work within the long-term grain of strategies which may have been inherited uh, from previous uh, administrations and which in a chamber of minorities that we have all likely uh, contributed. So I think uh, that, that, that there's certainly uh, something uh, in, in that. I'm really out of time for the points I've got to deal with. Um, I think there is a divergence between the principles that have been espoused, however, and the proposals that have been uh, brought forward. Rob Gibson talked about Stavanger, Seattle and Ullapool. Well, Ullapool has changed a little bit, but not much. Stavanger and Seattle have. Mary Mulligan made a very amusing speech. I'm not sure she meant to be so amusing. Referring to housing, the previous administration under Labour building six council houses. Um, she talked about her own uh, previous government's capital reduction and criticised it and she said food sales are close to zero. The rumbling sound was obviously that of empty stomachs around the chamber and she talked about uh, ring fencing of the tax on supermarkets when I think she meant uh, hypothecation. Now Lewis McAuld said bankers' popularity is an all-time law. Those who have looked at my register of interest will realise I moved from banking to politics in an attempt to improve my reputation. It has worked, I have to say, uh, which, is, uh, which is very good in, indeed. Um, he also, of course, talked about uh, the company uh, in Aberdeen. The important point is that when you get limited liability companies, uh, that's uh, just what you have. Uh, Joe Fitzpatrick uh, referred to the four Gs of Dundee, showing that there are local opportunities that we all have to take. 